Hello, friends. Welcome once again to the Integrated Homeopathy Lecture 9. Today, we have one of our most passionate and ardent speaker, Dr. Anita Bajaj. She'll be sharing a beautiful case for your learning experience. Welcome, Dr. Anita. Please share your case. Thank you, Kushala. Let's directly go to the case. Yeah. Show the next slide. Yeah. Ah, this is a case of a lady who had come with a reference of my one of my old patients. And she had, she's 35 years old, Muslim lady. And she has a lot of anxiety and fear of heart disease. Especially, you know, when she used to hear the news of uh, uh, celebrities dying of uh, sudden heart attacks. There were two or three incidences in a row. So whenever she hears of any young person dying with sudden heart attack, she gets very scared. And she feels that my children are small. What if something happens to me? Who will look after them? And because of this anxiety, she used to visit a lot of doctors. And she used to get investigated also. And last doctor had suggested her angio, uh, angiography. And that is the reason she had come to me. Because she did not want to undergo that. So this was her main fear. She has one son who is 7 years old and one daughter who is 4 years old. She is PhD. And, but because of children, she has opted for work from home and she writes scientific papers. Uh, work is hectic. It is a 12 hours job. But patient is very fast and efficient. So she finishes all her work before starting her online work. She is quite fastidious and she likes to do all the work herself. And she, especially so because like she wants to give her children healthy food and she wants to discipline her children. So she likes to do children's work also herself. She's quite a disciplinarian with children. She doesn't like her children to be spoiled by her in-laws. Her mother-in-law is stubborn and controlling lady. So she used, to, uh, she used to dominate patient regarding her son's care, which patient did not like. So son was the first issue and patient was not that much aware about all these things. And patient had not got lactation that time. So mother-in-law uh, mother used to take care of the child and she would never even, uh, you know, wake her up. So if she asked, she would say, then what is your need? As it is, you're not getting milk. I have to give uh, milk, uh, top milk on me. So that used to hurt patient. So at the time of daughter's birth, she opted for work from home so that she could give her whole hearted attention. Earlier, she was working in an institute where she was also pursuing PhD. She would do all her household work, go for work, come back and again cook dinner. So she hardly had any time with her kids. She felt that her son was drawn more to her mother-in-law because mother-in-law had been there with him throughout. And mother-in-law also has the habit of interfering and spreading things about patients. So patient used to feel embarrassed to go to her relatives also. Because she used to, you know, hear her talking on phone to somebody and criticizing her. So whenever she faced those people, she would feel embarrassed. But once when she visited those relatives, and she would help them and she would talk nicely to them. Then those relatives would realize that she is not like bad. She is not, uh, she's a good lady and they would like to invite her again. Patient has one sister-in-law, uh, husband's sister, who visits them often because she stays close by. And mother-in-law used to poison her mind also. And, uh, so she got prejudiced about patient. Sister-in-law has one son. Being from science stream, patient saw her son was not developing normally. He was lagging behind because the sister-in-law's son and patient's daughter were of similar age. So she would compare and feel that that son is uh, lagging behind and he was not normal. So she suspected autism. She told her husband about this, but her husband told her not to tell sister-in-law because she may feel bad. And it may, uh, you know, give rise to problems in the family. 
So patient was in conflict. On one side, she thought if I don't tell her, then she will not suspect and she will not get him investigated or take her, take him for therapy or anything. And if I tell her, then there may be, you know, conflicts in the family. But finally, you know, she decided to tell her, but she did it di indirectly. She told her to read an article on autism and try to, you know, see if uh, the child is autistic. But sister-in-law got furious and she stopped talking to her. Even mother-in-law created a scene because sister-in-law was hurt. But later on, sister-in-law also realized and she consulted a pediatrician who confirmed autism and then therapy was started. Patient was finally, you know, happy that as she had raised that issue, uh, child was taken for, uh, you know, investigation and uh, therapy was started. So she had that satisfaction. Now, uh, patient's parental family, patient's mother had died. Patient's mother had depression and fibroids and she used to bleed a lot. And she was well-educated and working. But due to her health issues, uh, she was forced to quit her job. Patient has two sisters. One is divorcee who is staying with her father who is alone now. And a younger sister. So th these three sisters are very close to each other because they had lost their mother at a young age. So their family, you know, father and three sisters, they were very close to each other and atmosphere was very light in their house. But at in-laws, atmosphere is quite suffocative because elders are given respect and they keep distance. So they don't talk very freely with youngsters. No hasi mazak. And patient feels very lonely because she doesn't like to tell her father and sisters also about the problems at in-laws place. And at in-law, she doesn't have anybody. She tells her husband, but then sometimes he also doesn't listen to her. Losing her mother at young age, she was around 12 or 13 years old at that time. She is insecure about her health also. So now you can connect why her fear of dying or fear of sudden death is coming from. She is quite insecure about her health, thinking uh, like if anything happens to me, my children will also have to go through the same problems which I went through without the mother. Her husband is quite cooperative, but due to his work stress, he also gets angry and loses temper. Patient complains about her mother-in-law. He tells her to ignore. Earlier, he used to medi medi uh, mediate between these two, but both are stubborn. So husband stopped interfering and tells her to ignore. Now, if patient cries also, there is no effect on him. He tells her not to get too much involved. Recently, her sister-in-law's son's birthday was there. Usually, patient used to do everything, organize the party, do cooking and everything. But this time, mother-in-law took the responsibility. So, patient felt left out. They were not involving patient. You know, sister-in-law and mother-in-law mother used to discuss and do everything. And they were not involving her. So she felt that uh, why they are doing this? She felt left out and she said, Ki, I can't go and sit like guests because I have never done that. Even if I go to distant relatives place, I will, I uh, tend to help them and get involved. So in this case, like she was feeling very left out. Patient gets very angry, especially when mother-in-law intervenes and tries to be nice to her husband and son. So what this uh, mother-in-law does, whenever there is a fight between husband and wife or if uh, patient is shouting on her children for something, then she will go and try to be nice to her husband and son so that they are drawn to her. This is what patient used to feel. So uh, she says, don't add fuel to fire. So she used to feel as if, you know, her mother-in-law's this type of behavior will raise to more, uh, will lead to more fights between them. Once when angry, she packed her bags and she wanted to leave, but then did not know where to go as father is not well and she did not want to disturb him. So finally, you know, her husband pacified her and her husband sent her son to call her back. But then she was very lonely. So she felt very lonely and nobody to talk to, nobody to share her problems with. Her mother-in-law was very close to her son. And uh, 
like a uh, patient also felt quite insecure that my son will be drawn to my mother-in-law more. But daughter was born later and patient only had taken care of her. So uh, there is no much bond between mother-in-law and daughter. And as it is, there is gender discrimination, which patient feels unfair. During second or third follow-up, she told me that her mother had committed suicide and it was not a natural death. As she was not well, and she was, used to be depressed and she used to, you know, run away and try to commit suicide. But these people used to keep a watch on her. So for keeping watch on her, these uh, daughters would take turn. And eldest daughter was in 10th at that time. So uh, it was, you know, her patient's responsibility to keep a watch. So she used to miss her school at that time. So these daughters used to, uh, her their studies were uh, suffering. So this was one of the reasons that her mother had, you know, uh, tried to commit suicide because at least, you know, their study will not suffer. But her mother was very caring. So she would, you know, get a lot of clothes for them. She would feed them more because she felt if, if I die, who will do all these things for them? But patient feels very angry on her thinking that her presence itself was very important. If she was physically present, even if she was sick, at least we had somebody to talk to. And without her, life was and still is so difficult and lonely. So she misses her mother still. So this is the case. And... Uh, Shobha, can you give your understanding about this case? Yes, thank you, ma'am. Yeah, Anita. So when I'm trying to understand this patient, what I feel is that overall this patient is a very good and helpful and a responsible individual. She is also highly intelligent and scholastically also very clever. She has done PhD through in her qualification. She is very fastidious also. And speed-wise, if you go to see, she is very fast and very efficient. Even though like she is doing a 12 hours job, work, her work, she is still able to manage her home and her work, both the things. So her speed and efficiency is very good. She seems very ambitious lady also. But... She has compromised her ambitions because of, uh, for the sake of her children, by accepting the work from home and writing the scientific papers. Uh, she is very disciplinarian and workaholic, and she is working hard, hard at both the fronts, at work as well as at the home front. She is also very systemic and organized in her work, in with good performance. So her intellectual side is very high, but emotion-wise, if we go to see then emotions are poor and she is unable to handle her emotions and her relationships. She gets disturbed because of discords in the family. She has issues with mother-in-law mainly and a little bit with sister-in-law. So she perceives mother-in-law as a very opportunistic, dictatorial and a dominating lady. She also feels envy seeing the mother-in-law and sister-in-law relationship because she always missed that mother-daughter relationship. So, uh, uh, because her mother passed away very early and that is why she had that emotional expectation of having this mother-daughter bond with her mother-in-law. But then because of her emotional difficulties, this could not happen. All along, also with the husband, what is happening is because of some uh, difficulties, one ex uh, example that you gave, in that like uh, because of uh, she feeling that mother-in-law is intervening between them, so because of that, what is happening is that husband is, husband is getting angry at her and uh, is not listening to the uh, patient and he listens to mother-in-law. So patient is feeling you know isolated and estranged and neglected. Even husband is not there for her to share. So by nature, like she's very reactive and stubborn and uh, her uh, anger is also there. So because of that, there is a distance between her and the, her husband in the relationship of her husband wife. She is also very conscious of her social image. She feels embarrassed when she is facing people where because like she feels that mother-in-law has spread her negative qualities amongst them. But otherwise she is very caring and very helpful. 
her care and help is seen at all like you know caring and helpful for father in law for the nephew like who is autistic like uh, even though like she patient had a difficulty with the sister in law little bit still like you know she had that very good intention of helping the nephew ki he should get a timely help so that uh, his autism can be helped and uh, that is how she uh, she's also having lot of caring and for her uh, children husband mother sisters father so everybody she is very caring and the uh, she is missing her mother very much because of the early death of her mother like she feels very lonely and she feels that this insecurity about her own children ki for whom she is very possessive so she feels that what if anything happens to me and then my children will go through same struggle which i went through so she doesn't want that to happen at the same time she also feels little bit guilty about not being able to help her mother during her suffering so does like you know her care and nurture relationship of this mother and child is like very evidently seen in her relationship with her mother her mother in law and her children yeah anita this is what is my understanding about the patient yes very good i uh, missed out on few points one thing is she can get a very good job abroad but uh, because of her children and her husband is the only son of her, his parents so she opted for you know not going to abroad and uh, sticking here like staying with her parents in laws and secondly her father in law is not keeping good health so she is the one who takes care of him because mother in law and father in law don't get along well so mother in law doesn't take much care of his of the father in law and uh, one more point yeah Uh, when she got married she had this idea that i have not got mother's love so maybe you know i can see mother in my mother in law she had come with that expectation but then unfortunately it could not be true uh, kushala can you throw some light on kingdom classification what kingdom she belongs to sure i'll just share my slide what happened is my screen seen yes yes we we'll make it full screen kushal uh oh, when i'm making it full screen it's going off acha it's okay you can share okay so what i felt in this case that the animal kingdom was pretty evident to me because there's so much of you versus me you know like all the through the case she was comparing how her mother in law is being stubborn is controlling her is dominating her and also you know taking up more responsibility towards the son's care and uh, taking him away from her so this was something which she did not like at all and the mother in law also had this habit of interfering and spreading things about the patient to the relatives which used to make the patient very embarrassed so she gave that feeling you know all the time it was mother in law doing this to me mother in law doing that to me she is adding fuel to the fire you know she is trying to intervene between me and my husband when i do things for him or between me and my son when i am angry on them or i want to say things and she will be goody goody towards him so that you versus me was very very prominent in the entire case then there was this comparison also where she felt that in her maternal home before marriage the atmosphere used to be so light and happy while well, here it's so suffocative there's no hasi there's no mazak and also this comparison about you know gender discrimination that mother in law is more towards my son than over my daughter and she found this treatment very unfair 
again this antagonism she was in this conflict like she cared for the family but also you know she was in the conflict that if in my goodness if i try to point out to my sister in law that her child looks autistic then they would be hurt and angry at the same time if i don't point out the child will not get the timely help so this antagonism this conflict was also very evident then we could see this jealousy she never liked the mother in law handling her son or you know so just for that reason she opted for work from home so that she can look after her children and bring up her children the way she wants to and she was also very envious of the mother in law sister in law bond because she felt ki the sister in law can discuss so many things with her mother which i don't have a mother to discuss with and you could also see the themes of victim you know that she felt like a victim to this controlling and dominating and interfering mother in law so animal kingdom was very very evident in this case now i also felt since a family theme is coming up so much the lack aspect in her became very evident because she wanted to be belonging to this family she was sacrificing for this family she was having a very strong family bond like as anita also said she had opportunities abroad but she stayed back so that she can be with the family she could look after her father in law she could look after her children and be with the family and there's also a very strong bond you see between the sisters and she really cares for her father so there's this intense need for the family and she you know husband out of anger told her to go from the home but she was you know she was so upset she didn't want to she wanted to be in this home atmosphere she said my father is sick you know already one of my sisters looking after him i can't go back when my husband is asking so she wanted to be within the family safe and secure with the group she had the chances to be independent but she wanted to be dependent be with the family and look up the family sacrifice for the family there was this conflict of giving and receiving too how much to give like if i give i am totally ignored also by the family there's a love and relationship issues she wants to help so because her need to help the family the unit so much she did you know her best to subtly show her sister in law that her child is autistic at the same time she felt so forsaken and neglected i'm doing so much for the family and mother in law is not including me in the birthday celebration of the child of the sister in law's child or even husband is not even stopping me from going home rather he is he is okay about it so she she feels so neglected and rejected and you can see a strong maternal instinct the way she is nurturing her children taking care the way you know she is longing for that strong mother uh, bond mother and daughter bond and the same bond you can see between her and her children she is missing that mother and she is lacking that nourishment or that motherly you know her, she has a strong need for the mother which she was trying to see in her mother in law she was all the time looking for a mother in her mother in law and we see the issue of hierarchy also that superior inferior controlling mother in law who she feels is dominating her then we see this history of abuse and exploitation she is getting a lot of anger towards the mother in law who is sort of overruling her and you know looking after her children pleasing her husband so there's a lot of anger and a sense of injustice over the way the mother in law is you know doing gender discrimination and adding fuel to the fire in her relationships with her husband and children at the same time this embarrassment you know that mother in law spreading so many negative vibes about her to relatives she is feeling suppressed with all this and she feels that she is of no importance and she has no voice she is being forced to do things because she herself has no where to go go to she doesn't have a mother herself she is feeling looked down upon then this forsaken is so much there in her she wants that nurture she wants the mother she is looking for that love but then there is no mother she is feeling helpless and father is sick so where can i go i can't even go back to my maternal house she feels not cared by the person the husband at least should have been more concerned more caring but when angry though he is a caring person when angry you know it has no um, effect on him that she is crying or how she is feeling 
and she's a very efficient person which we could see that in her work how well she manages her work life and home life and she's very disciplined also with her children and we saw the issue of milk being absent post delivery so lactation issues so lack themes come up very very prominent in this case that's what i felt anita if you could uh, you know uh, share your analysis so that we understand the case better yes very rightly you have come to lack theme because uh, mother and child relationship is so important in this case everything is just you know moving around that her relationship with her mother and her relationship with her children and she is so insecure about her children that mother in law they will be you know drawn to her mother in law and she will not have that strong bond with them uh, shobha can you share the screen yes. so we will go to this understanding shobha and kushala both have covered most of the points uh, but still we just summarize and then we will go to the remedy so my analysis as i started was uh, her relationship with mother was very important like death of mother missing mother feeling lonely without mother even at the age of 35 and being envious of mother in law and sister in law relationship because the type of bond they were sharing with each other and her you know uh, feeling of keeping the family together she wanted to see mother and mother in law her own relation with her children care nurture and discipline so all these things were very important then if we see her as a personality she is quite workaholic performance oriented and she is very energetic like she is working for 12 hours at job at the same time she is doing all the household chores and she wants to do it herself because she is so fastidious then there is uh, you know concern of social image because she feels embarrassed she helps others caring for father in law she wanted her sister in law's child to get a timely help then this isolated neglected feeling estranged feeling ambitious but she compromised for children that means she was hindered then she is a very straight forward because her reactions are also very strong then uh, we see the same effect of mother suicide she feels that her children all should not go through what she has gone through next slide so when i approached it through repertory now lack theme was very clear in my mind remedy was also to some extent clear in my mind because of energy and performance and everything but still i wanted to repertorize also so when we repertorize major rubrics fastidious dictatorial elements from discords between family members now one very surprising thing in lack equinum this is the only remedy in elbenstrom discords between family members so i was trying to understand you know why only one remedy is there in this so what i could understand is for lack family is so important and in that also she is having discords with family members so that becomes very very characteristic so that is why it is single then if we see all other rubrics also efficient organized industrious ambition increased anger when touched so whenever mother in law's issues comes or mother in law you know tries to uh, cross her boundaries and enter into her zone taking care of the children so she gets very angry you know then uh, there is anxiety about this family busy confident delusion hindered he is this can hindered can also come from what she wants to do with her children in that also mother in law is becoming a hindrance so she likes to discipline her children mother in law will interfere she wants to give healthy food mother in law will give something junk so that used to be issue always between these two people then discontented estranged fear of impending disease the chief complaint for which she had come to us then intolerance so she cannot tolerate all these type of behavior responsibility taking too seriously rest cannot when things are not in proper place so she has to finish all her work and then sit and log in you know then she is quite straight forward she tells her mother in law on her face aag mat lagao don't add fuel to fire 
trifles seem important because of intolerance again. Then there is impatience, restlessness, love for children, but limited in expression of it. So, especially for daughter, because she feels that daughter is, you know, more uh, underprivileged, you can say, because son is getting whatever he wants. Restlessness, anxious, noise aggravates, shrieking anger. That means anger is also so harsh. Then if you see the dreams also, there is dream of being rejected by those whom she tries to help. So she helps, but those people reject because now she want, wanted to help her mother-in-law, wanted to help her sister-in-law, but she is being rejected. Then mother, uh, misunderstood by mother. So if you consider mother-in-law as mother here, now she is being misunderstood by her mother. Opportunity lost. Then dreams of others lack in moral feeling. So that she knows, you know, especially about her mother-in-law, she feels that she. Mother-in-law is not understanding what patient wants. Though patient is very good, she is spreading bad things about her. That speaks of her mother-in-law's morals. Peaceful wants to be, yet forced to violence. See, it's a, such a beautiful rubric and single remedy rubric. She wants to be peaceful. She wants to live with family. But people are creating discords. People are, you know, forcing her to do violence. So this is the conflict. Where she, on one hand, she wants to live happily with family. And on other side, people are not, you know, uh, abiding by what she wants. Dreams, people, nasty and unhelpful. Next. Impatience, people with un unhelpful. Love children for daughter. That we have already covered. Ye ho gaya na? Haan. So now, uh, remedy lack equinum is very, very clear through repertory, through sensation, through uh, kingdom classification and everything. We will further go to, you know, we will see whatever rubrics are there in this patient, whatever expressions are there in this patient, which lacks can come close. So we will try to study differentiation of the lacks. So if we consider fastidious, then lack equinum, lack felinum and lack humanum are there. In dictatorial, lack equinum, lack humanum and lack leo are there. Industrious, lack equinum, lack leo and lack lupinum. Responsibility taking too strong, only lack equinum. Delusion hindered, lack equinum and lack leo. Ambitious increase, lack equinum, lack humanum and lack leo. Anxiety family about is lack CP, lack uh, equinum and lack del, delphinum. I think it should be defloratum. Next. Estranged is lack equinum and lack humanum. Estranged family from his only lack equinum. Elements from discords between family members only lack equinum. Malicious lack caninum, lack CP, lack H and uh, lack Leo. Lack equinum is not there in malicious. It is there. It is not there in yielding because it is dictatorial. In intolerance, lack equinum is there with lack H and lack Leo. Intolerance of contradiction, lack equinum and lack humanum. Next. So now if we see lack equinum is like a cow, the horse is submissive. Like a dog, he wants to please his master and uh, is loyal to his master. Like a lion, he is powerful and he tries his best and he is always, you know, made to th do things which are difficult for him. So they will always aim higher and they will always struggle to achieve the best. So what are the words representing horse? Now these are key words from, you know, if you uh, hear these uh, words or if you, it strikes you in a certain case, you can easily think of like quinum. So power, industriousness, loyalty, restlessness, regal, royal, efficiency, speed, agility, alertness, balance. Horse is one animal, 
along with other birds who sleeps in standing position. And they are so alert that they can immediately, you know, come into action. Ambition, competition, passion, dictatorial, capability, but not malicious like predators. So here you, have, you are seeing aggression and power of a predator, but no maliciousness. They are quite loving. They are quite benevolent. Confidence and self-assurance is there. Next. So, in a nutshell, Lekakoinam is, though they are strong, but they are controlled by master and they feel held back and restrained because of their loyalty and because of the relationship they form with the master. Like we have seen, you know, in Rana Pratap, Chetak used to be the horse who protected him, you know, who stood by him in all adverse conditions. So they are dedicated, duty-bound, obedient, efficient, loyal, and they are in pleasing desire. So in spite of being strong, they are controlled by master. And in, at work, they are disciplined, professional. They are generally so efficient that they are given tough tasks where they have to put in superhuman effort, but still they are ready to do it. And that is why you see embarrassment in work area is very, very important in Black Equinum. They are team player, though they are tough taskmasters because they work hard themselves and they expect others also to give their best. Stress, they take stress because they are, you know, given so much of responsibility because of their efficiency. So in that process, they develop some anxiety and fear of failure and embarrassment about poor performance. Self, from this adverse, you know, when the stress is too much, when a lot of expectations are placed on them, then they start doubting their self-worth. They lose self-confidence and they go into depression. And then they feel overburdened. They feel abused. Horse is most abused. You must have seen, you know, articles in Mathiran uh, everywhere. You know, these horses and mules are how they are abused. For them, life is full of struggle. So this patient also said, without mother, life was such a struggle, you know. Even if her physical presence was there, if she was not in position to help us, at least we would have got some moral support from her. Like Equinum is a successful personality like Palladium because they are quite friendly, communicative and they, are, they like to be in the group and they are quite social. So you can mistake like Equinum for Palladium and they look like column 10 personality because of their performance and because of their efficiency. So, this is all about Lekakvainam. And uh, I'm very thankful to Dr. Mayuresh Mahajan who had presented this uh, Lekakvainam in one of the seminars. And uh, his tip was like when this Lekakvainam patient comes, he goes on speaking, tuck, 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 like horse, how, how, horse walks, tuck, tuck, tuck. Similarly, they also speak like that, you know. It comes very close to Nakswamika and Arsenic also if you see because of their fastidiousness and because of their efficiency in the work. So this is all about Lakikvainam. Shobha, Kushala, you want to say anything? You want to add anything? Kushala, yes, you have follow up. Uh, I had given her Lakikvainam 200 weekly doses. And in the second follow-up itself, she was very, very uh, happy and she had relaxed. You know, those ang anxious thoughts had gone away. She was quite calm. And then once that uh, conflict with her husband and mother-in-law had happened, so that time she had come and that time I had given, given her 1M and she settled down. So after that, no negative feelings, no negative uh, insecurity or thinking. Yes, Shobha, you were saying something. Anita Hare, sorry, Kushala was saying something. No, no, no. I no? said we have well rounded it. Yes, yes, yes. Really, we have 
done it very nicely. Thank you, Anita, for sharing a wonderful case of lack equinum. And uh, I'm sure that, you know, with this understanding of the case, as well as the understanding of the lack plus lack equinum, you know, it, uh, I am sure that lack equinum is understood very well. Um, friends, uh, the very, very close coming platform of the integrated uh, homeopathy just before uh, our two, uh, in our seventh lecture. So we will be sharing the link of lack asinum uh, uh, in the description of this uh, video also. In case those who have missed it and will like to watch it again, they can watch it again. Thank you. So, so case of lack equinum study and uh, we will be also learning more and more lax uh, remedies in the future also. Thank you. Thank you very much friends for all your support and love and thank you. Thank, Thank you, you all. Thank you, Anita. Thank you, Shala. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.